Hey guys, uh, Bro with Eradicators here. So today we're at a, at a house and we got a really common repair today. Uh, they've got um, raccoons that have gotten to their attic and usually the raccoons and females go up there to have babies. Uh, we did an inspection of the attic and there's no babies up there. It looks like she was just, she broke in just trying to find a place to put them, hasn't had the babies yet. Anyways, just want to show you the repair we're gonna do. This is a really common area for raccoons are these porch areas. And what happens is this porch was probably installed after the home so they run soffit all the way to the side, and then underneath here, there's no soffit at all. So that actually goes right in the attic. If I stick my hand in there, I can stick my hand all in the attic. And this is a real easy area for raccoons or possums, squirrels, rats. They climb up, they get onto the porch, and then go right in this area. Now, you could actually have the soffit replaced. It'd be really difficult for one. Uh, but if, even if you have soffit there, an animal like a raccoon or a possum can easily just push the soffit up and go right in there because they can stand here, or a squirrel or rat, since it's right here, they have something to sit on and they can chew, they can chew a hole in and go right in. So what we have to do, is we have to section off this entire area, and you see that there's these, these channels that run through the top of the porch. So what we have to do is we have to take pieces of metal and custom fit them in there, and uh, fit them into place so they're permanent, and the repair is aesthetic, it looks nice, um, it's effective, it keeps animals out, you can't chew through it, you can't pull it out of place after we secure it in place. Uh, and it'll protect against squirrels, rats, uh, raccoons, and possums getting back in the attic. So we're going to get started, take some measurements, and get everything put in place. All right, so as you can see, we've sectioned off the entire porch. What we had to do is uh, the fascia wasn't quite long enough for these pieces of metal, so we ran a piece of metal on the entire fascia um, to secure that in place. And then individually had to cut all these pieces of metal. I got them in there. You can see they're really solid. What we did is, uh, you know, we make sure we want water to be able to flow through there. So um, it's really important in our repairs that we keep the functionality of the roof and the gutters. Water's gonna come off the roof here in Florida. It's really important that it comes out the roof. If any water were to get behind there, it can still flow out towards the gutters and not pull up back there. And now you have all these in place uh, so that an animal like a possum or a raccoon in this case can't come up and go into the attic, can't rip the soffit down. And really important part of this is, you know, we inspected the attic, didn't see an animal up there, but it doesn't mean that there's not something hiding up there. So we have this trap door. Um, we know there's no babies in the attic. So what this allows to happen is the animal's able to come out and the, the door shuts behind them, the animal leaves. What we'll do is we'll put a piece of tape on there. Uh, we'll come back in a few days and most likely it'll be disturbed, the tape will be ripped and the animal will be gone. We'll tape it again, we'll come back again and when the tape's not disturbed we know that the animal's done, uh, has already left and it's not coming going anymore, it has no other entry points. We can take this off, seal up the rest of the building and now the uh, building is animal free. So if you have any questions or comments you can leave comments below uh, or better yet visit us at eradicators.com and call us for a free estimate.